With Christmas just around the corner, it is the time of giving. But what do you give to the b-boy or b-girl in your life? One problem that breaking is always faced is products. While most dancers make money teaching classes and hosting battles, there's always been a confused businessman looking at the scene, rubbing his hands and wondering how he can turn some of that into sweet, sweet loot. Some of these things are things of beauty, some are weird as hell, so we have a look at some of these and see if they're worthy of getting a place in Santa's sack or getting the sack. So when b-boys first learn to do flares, one of the things we do is practice it using our fingers. So the logical conclusion is boots for your fingers so that you can practice breaking moves using your fingers. Apparently this product includes fresh beats from a mini boombox. Hmm. Yeah, we do sometimes use the word fresh, but it still sounds a bit weird to me. Also, the product advertises that you can do a worm. How in the hell do you do a worm using your fingers without dislocating something? Secondly, instead of buying boots for your fingers and these machine-made beats, how about, you know, just doing it barefooted, putting on some real breaky music and going ape? You can even do it on a cardboard box if you want. Where's our size pizza at? There, saved you 10 bucks. For some reason, animals breaking is popular at the moment. From t-shirts that your gran gets you for Christmas, yeah, thanks, I'll totally use that at the next jam, to art depicting everything from breaking foxes to this raccoon throwing up gang signs. And yeah, that is totally rad. The raccoon's gonna ride on some forest animals any day now. So that's surely the weirdest thing out there, right? Dear God, what an unholy abomination is this? Given the choice between getting my balls beaten in a cell in Gitmo and letting this damn thing into my house, I would take the testicular torture option any day. I mean, just, just, just look at it! From the wide-eyed, soulless look on its face to the fact that one still wears most of the hamster that it presumably consumed on the way to becoming an unholy abomination. There are probably whole verses in the Bible about this damn thing coming to earth, and all of them predict the end of days. If for some reason you want this in the house, it costs 50 bucks and presumably your eternal soul. I'm not even going to judge it because I'm afraid next time I have sleep paralysis I'm going to find this damn thing creeping towards me on the bed. If you ever come across the awful vinyl version of KTEL Records Breakdance, you would have been treated to an ear-meltingly awful compilation of corny pop songs that no self-respecting breaker would get down for fear the entire Rocksteady crew would suddenly materialise and slap the shit out of you. However, for those that did have their eardrums molested, they would have come across this, a guide to NY baking slang which was included with every purchase. Weirdly, for a slang guide, the writers didn't recognise that a lot of these terms have breaking meanings, Critical, jerk, and run all have b-boy meanings that are completely ignored here. However, that is only the entrance to the theme park of craziness. It also has a move list taunt by NYC Breakers, who admittedly get a pass because they're legitimately good. But how about a 20-step guide to doing a wave? Who needs 20 steps to doing a wave? The worst rap ever in the middle, a footwork guide where a guy does like three steps and then does a windmill, and of course a guide to the moonwalk because this is the 80s. Because this was packaged with a horrible breakdance compilation, it gets a breaksploitation seal of terrible. But seeing the NYC breakers give a step-by-step -step guide to literally anything always sways me to spare it. When you're modelling for a product and you genuinely look like you'd rather be killed slowly by some wild animal than wear it, or praying for the madness to stop, something has probably gone wrong. Still, this may seem like a pretty standard hat. Why would anyone have a problem with it? Oh, it's one of those caps. Yep, for a while lighting up your hats was a crazy breaking, before, you know, we threw that crap to the curb like when your dog takes a dump on the pavement. Now we're going to spare this a exploitation label because just maybe someone has a use for it, but that is a huge freaking maybe. And Finally, what Christmas cake would be complete without breaking characters for your Christmas cake? Honestly, I kind of want these, although at my age it should probably be a dancer clutching their knee in pain rather than smoothly doing a night freeze. So that's my guide to Christmas goods for the b-boy or b-girl in your life. However, with this being Christmas, why not remember it the way Jesus almost certainly wouldn't want to be remembered with Jesus Christ breaking goods? including a Christmas sweater of Jesus breaking so hard he loses his sandals, a print for your wall of the Bristol breaking Jesus Christ, or this artwork of Jesus doing an appropriate named virgin flare, the shape of which probably gave him post-traumatic stress disorder. Because as Matthew reminds us, Jesus came not to be served, but to serve. 
So that's our roundup of breaking goods. Do we leave any of your favourites out? What will you be getting the B-boy or B-girl in your life for Christmas? Let us know in the comments. And until then, happy Christmas.